Welcome to the Tyson Tidbits. Today we're going to see an intro to Tyson development. This is part of a longer workshop that we had uh, earlier in during the month, but I wanted just to focus on specific topics in some of these videos so you can easily find them uh, on our YouTube channel. So let's get to it. So Tyson is an open source operating system. The main contributor and the main person or the main entity that is uh, maintaining that project is Samsung. And uh, the target platforms mostly are wearables and TVs, although we have also for mobile and smart appliances, but most developers are usually trying to get the wearable devices and the TVs that we have obviously uh, millions of TVs around the world that are used in Tyson. Uh, the, on the wearable side, that is what we're going to be checking today, we have two main lines, and the first one is the Galaxy Watch, and then the other one is the uh, wa Galaxy Watch Active, uh, or the Active Watch. So the, the difference between the two of them are, are mostly on terms of design. So this one is a little bit bigger, bulkier, uh, a little bit more like solid, and it has this physical vessel that we're going to be using in the uh, development. The Active was designed afterwards, and it's because we figured out that uh, uh, we were underrepresenting uh, the female audience and millennials. So, like, it was a little bit more uh, like sleek. It had a unisex design, and the the the, the colors that we were offering uh, are much different too. So, like, uh, a little bit more vibrant. Uh, there's like a, a gold rose that a, a lot of people would like. Uh, mine is well. I don't know if you guys can see my screen. Well, I'll share. I'll, I'll show them later. So the active one here, mine is black, but well, a lot of people that go for the active uh, usually pick other colors, so we will see. Now, uh, when you are creating apps for the wearable devices, you can create three main types uh, of applications. So watch faces, watch apps in general, and widgets. So today we're going to focus a little bit more on the watch apps, uh, but obviously you can uh, still create the two of them. And, well, the other two. And um, there are several ways that you can create all of those. Watch faces are pretty much the, the, the thing that you see when you uh, uh, wake up your device. So like, well, the watch itself. And they have really awesome designs. And uh, like I said, my colleague, Tony Moreland, he focuses on helping you to create these designs, these type of things that, that look awesome and that people can download uh, for free or paid on from the store. The apps and widgets. So, well, an app is pretty much just an app. So it's just something that resides on the app tray and you can change from the watch phase and jump into, into that application. And it could be almost anything. So it could be weather, it could be uh, something that has to do with health. It could be games that at some point I want to just focus on, on a full series just around games. Um, and uh, well, it could be anything. And the widgets pretty much are like a small shortcuts, a small like uh, applications that can live on the watch phase or in other apps. And then you tap on them and you can go there. Well, it, Place them in front and then they can get you to a full application. So not necessarily, but uh, that that is like the main usage that that most people give it. So I'm going to jump directly into the Tyson architecture because this is what we're going to go uh, for today. And uh, there are three main ways that you can develop for uh, Tyson uh, applications. So with a web app native apps, and Tyson.net. This is the newest, uh, uh, and we're going to be talking a little bit about that. So native app is the first one that we created, and you can see that is the one that has access directly to the device APIs, and you can develop for that with C and C++. Tyson, like I mentioned, is uh, the newest one, and uh, with that one, you are going to be using C Sharp and Xamarin. And we're going to see that there's a lot of collaboration with Microsoft just to get into that one because this is cross-platform. So I'll dedicate uh, one or two minutes to that. And what we're going to be doing today is web apps. So like that's why I think I think we put that on the prerequisites for the uh, the workshop is to have at least um, at least basic knowledge on front-end application. You have some JavaScript knowledge, HTML, and, and CSS. It's great. If not, 
we're going to see today some basic things, so don't worry. I'm almost certain that we're going to be able to understand. Um, going back to the IDEs, for web applications and for native applications, we use Tyson Studio. So this is a, a, a program that was created by Samsung, and you can download it from, from, uh, for free from the developer site. So again, developer.samsung.com. But if you're going to be using uh, .NET, Tyson.NET, you will have to download Visual Studio. That is a program created by Microsoft. And then you're going to have to install a few packages and we rely on Xamarin technology. So that's a technology that it was that company, Xamarin, that originally was something completely separate from Microsoft, then it was acquired by Microsoft, so now it has a big integration. And their entire point is that you can create cross-platform applications. So you could, could, you could create a, um, a wearable application that runs on an iOS device, on an Android device, and also on Tyson. So a lot of people nowadays are beginning to move to this because they say like, okay, that way I can just create mostly the same code, but uh, different platforms. The big difference, I think, is specifically with Tyson and Samsung wearable devices is the shape. If you go and check an iOS device, mostly all, all of them are um, square. So ours wanted to be more like traditional watches and they are circular. So quite likely if you go for uh, cross-platform development, you will have to redesign or make a, a small changes on your uh, application just to consider that you're talking about a circular screen. So that, that's something that you have to keep in mind. Uh, apart from that, um, well, I think I put it here. Yes, this, this is something that I'm going to share at the end that, like I said, in developer.samsung.com, you're going to be able to find a lot of the uh, documentation and guides to start your uh, platform, your application development. Also, you can go to tyson.org. They have a lot of the documentation and, well, that's the first place where it's going to be uh, updated whenever a new version comes. And this is directly, you can go here and find the right link or just go to program.developer.samsung.com to register as a, a Samsung developer. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And don't forget to check our YouTube channel list where you can find more Tyson tidbits. We will have some more videos coming from this uh, workshop that I mentioned before. And uh, just let me know what kind of topics you would like to cover in future videos. Thank you.